time to look at the second Phoenix torch that I got in for review. This is the E20 version 2 and uh, Phoenix UK sent this in. Quick spec on the screen for you just to give you an idea of what we're looking at in terms of the output. They have upgraded quite a few things on this compared to the previous version but I haven't used it. The main takeaway is you've got more power, a bit less range, more spread and they've made the size quite a bit smaller. There's the included items, your user guide which I'll show you later on in your warranty card and you also get two AAs and a spare O-ring. In addition to that they also give you a wrist strap, this is one of the smaller ones uh, similar to the E16, that sort of size. Let's take a closer look at the torch and the dimensions are on screen for you. It's actually quite compact for a two cell AA battery torch and it's also quite light as well. You do have a single switch on the bottom of the tail cap. Clip is quite strong on this, there's a fair amount of pressure on there. Um, I would put the wrist strap through the base or tail cap, although you can put it through the clip if you want. Typical Phoenix knurling, in other words, the lined pattern. And you've got some grooves in the head. Um, you don't need those particularly because you're just controlling it from the base or tail cap switch, but it does look quite attractive. There's your LED with the optical lens there, similar to the other Phoenix ones that you looked at. And you've got that sort of copper bronze effect on the bezel. And it is a nice looking torch. The Phoenix lights do look pretty good visually. I'll just unscrew the base cap on this just to show you. Square cut threads and there's a bit of grease on those. Quick look inside there just to show you the spring that you have. Uh, quite a long spring on that. And they have tried to keep the size of the torch down with the thickness on the aluminium. Um, you can see that there where they've kept it quite thin. It doesn't feel poorly made at all though. It does feel quite nicely made. And once you put the batteries in there it does add the weight to it. Quite a nice action on the switch, you can definitely feel when you've clicked it into place. And we'll cover the UI which is very simple, nothing confusing here, just a full press to turn it on and off. And a half press will take you through the power levels. The only thing is it does always come on at the lowest output. And possibly prefer it to have a memory for that, that would have been a nice touch. But unfortunately the switch cover is a bit proud at the base, so that means to say that you can't stand it upright. That's a bit of a shame, uh, sort of oversight there on the design. But other than that, it's a nice looking and feeling torch in the hand. Put the user manual on screen for you if you want to check that. Do note the different run times with the different batteries, nickel hydride or alkaline. And on to the beam shots now at the 150 lumen mark. And then I'll take it up to 350 lumens. This isn't a high power light. I've used more powerful uh, two cell AA torches in the past but it does have a decent output and uh, compare it to the E16 here which I did a review on recently obviously that has a higher output and warmer tint we've also included the E3R which has more of a flood type beam on it just out of interest and um, they're quite different all the beams on these torches but I'll carry on with some more beam shots now and give you a summary at the end of the video
couple of thoughts on the Phoenix torch. I think it's quite a nice light. I have to say I do like the design and the overall build quality it does feel very nice. Perhaps a little bit on the expensive side for a two cell AA torch. A few small points to mention, I would have liked to have had a mode memory that would have been quite nice. Also would have gone a little bit lower on the lowest output on the eco mode, maybe a couple of lumens, perhaps even less. It's not the most powerful AA torch that I've ever used, but it does have quite a nice beam. I do like the build quality and it is a compact size. If you've got any thoughts on this, do drop a comment below and thanks for watching the video. I will see you in my next one coming up very soon.